Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the solved problem based on the open circuited impedance Z parameter coming under the two port network. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic. Solved problem 1. Open circuit impedance Z parameter. We know that Z parameter is a open circuited. We are keeping the two port network. One port is kept open and the parameter is fine. Z parameter is fine. That is Z11. That is a input open circuited open circuit input impedance z22 is the open circuit output impedance z21 is the open circuit forward transfer impedance transfer between input and output similarly z12 is the open circuited reverse transfer impedance these four parameter we need to find z11 z22 z12 z21 now we will refer the diagram. Find the Z parameter for the network shown below. So this is the network given. The three impedance available. Z A, Z B, Z C. So these are coming under two port network. A A dash is the input port. Plus minus A A dash is the input port. B B dash plus minus is the output port. V1 is the input voltage. I1 is the input current. V2 is the output voltage. I2 is the output output voltage i2 is the output current so based on that we need to find the four z parameters first we will frame the equation from this given network then we will find the z parameter so in that first we need to when the port b b dash is open circuit we know that it is a open circuit input impedance that is we are going to keep the any one port is kept open then the re remaining values are calculated First, we will keep the output port B, B dash. We are going to kept in the open circuited condition. So, when it is open circuited, the I2 is 0. Right? Because of open circuited impedance, the output port B, B dash is open circuited. So, the I2 is 0. There is no current because of open circuit. The current will flow through Z A and Z B. Z C is not taken into account because current will not flow. So, the total impedance is Z A, Z B. From that we can frame the equation. First we will find the V1. So the V equal to I into R. So V1 equal to I1 into R value. Impedance Z A plus Z B. So V1 equal to I1 into Z A plus Z B. So very simple formula. V equal to I into R. So V1 equal to I1 into Z A plus Z B. Because these two are connected in series. Then what about the V2? V2 is nothing but voltage across Z B. Right? So what is the current flowing through this I1? So I1 into ZB, right? So V2 is nothing but voltage across B, B dash. That is nothing but voltage across the impedance ZB. ZC, current is not flowing, not, not taken into account. So across ZB, the current, current flowing is I1 and the impedance is ZB. So V equal to I into R. I is I1, R is ZB. So we framed equation 1 and 2. Now let us name the number as equation 1 and 2. V1 and V2. By keeping the B, B as open circuited, I2 is 0. Now we will go to the input side. When the port A, A dash is open circuited. So that I1 equal to 0. Now we are going to keep the input port A, A dash is 0. So that I1 is equal to 0. Now the current I2 will flow through ZB and ZC. Current is not flowing through ZA, not taken into account, right? Current is flowing through ZC and ZB. Now first we will find the V2. V2 is nothing but the current I2 into total impedance. I2 into ZB plus ZC. V2. Right. Then what about V1? V1 there is no this is open circuit so no current is flowing so V1 is again nothing but the voltage across ZB so current I2 into ZB so V1 equal to the current I2 flowing through ZB into the impedance ZB right so is numbered as equation 3 and 4 V1 equal to I2 into ZB V2 equal to I2 into ZB plus ZC now we can from these four equation we can find the Z parameter 1 by 1. The circuit 
in this problem is a t network so the generalized equation is v1 equal to z11 i1 plus z12 i2 z11 is open circuit input impedance 11 refers input impedance z12 is the open circuit reverse transfer impedance transfer between input and output similarly one more equation v2 equal to z21 i1 plus z22 i2 here the z21 is the open circuit forward transfer impedance z22 is the open circuit output impedance because two refers the output port one refers the input port right now we need to find the value of z11 z12 z21 z22 now we'll see this one by one so we already have the four equations are already available from the four equation we can easily find this values so z11 when the port b b dash is open circuit and i2 equal to 0 generally z11 equal to v1 by i1 i2 is 0 input voltage divided by input current so that it is called a open circuit input impedance so v1 by i1 is nothing but z11 so from equation 1 v1 equal to i1 z a plus z b for the given network this is general formula this is given network now brought that i1 in the denominator this side so v1 by i1 equal to z a plus z b so this v1 by i1 is nothing but z11 z11 v1 by i1 so for this given network in open circuit input impedance z11 equal to z a plus z b right so we are easily calculated the input open circuit input impedance similarly this side when the port a a dash is open circuited then i1 is 0 z22 equal to v2 by i2 right output voltage divided by output current so from equation 3 we can easily calculate equation 3 is v2 equal to i2 into zb plus zc brought that i2 in the denominator this side so v2 by i2 equal to zb plus zc so v2 by i2 is nothing but z22 open circuit output impedance so z22 equal to zb plus zc right so z11 is calculated and z22 also calculated now we will go to the remaining I will say we will go to this side again b b dash is open circuited i2 equal to 0 so that z21 equal to v2 v2 by i1 output voltage by input current this is called a open circuit forward transfer impedance transfer mean output by input v2 by i1 here both are input here both are output so that is called a input impedance this is output impedance this is transfer impedance forward now how to calculate this now we will refer the equation 3 we will refer the equation number 3 3 is nothing but v2 equal to i1 zb brought this i1 in the denominator this side so v2 by i1 equal to zb v2 by i1 is nothing but z21 general formula this is based on the network that is zb so open circuit forward transfer impedance z21 equal to zb now we will come to this side this, that is port a a dash is open circuited i1 equal to 0 in this case z12 equal v1 by i2 input voltage divided by output current here output voltage by input current so this is the open circuit reverse transfer impedance so this can be calculated from equation number 4 v1 equal to i2 into zb brought that i to this side in the denominator so v1 by i2 equal to zb v1 by i2 is nothing but z12 that is equal to zb so z21 also zb z12 also zb so both are same so the network is bilateral network reciprocity so we can conclude that this network is a bilateral network this is a reciprocity so in this we calculated the z parameters for the given network first we frame the four equations by keeping the output port open we framed two equation by keeping the input port open we framed another two equation from this four equation we can calculate z11 z22 z21 and z12 one by one we calculated 
and also it is concluded this is the bilateral network reciprocity network subscribe the channel for more videos and notification soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box thank you for listening